Welcome back to the Tie Academy. Today we're going to be working on some fundamental blow dry styling using the Deboa High Tech brush. So let's get started. So we're going to start doing a wrap dry. So wrap dry is basically where I'm taking all the hair and I'm wrapping it around the head one way and wrapping it around the head the other way. So I'm basically using the head as a big roller to blow everything dry against. They used to do this back in the old days on longer hair when they would wet set. They'd brush everything around, put a roller in the crown, let them sit under a hood dryer, and that's a way of getting everything straight and smooth with just a little bit of bend to it. You need a little bit of bend to create movement so that's what you're using the head as a big roller does. So we're gonna start with the Duboa High Tech brush. Now when you're gonna choose a brush, you want a seamless tooth coming out. I don't want a tooth coming halfway up and one coming all the way out. I don't want any kind of seams on the tooth itself that could rip and snag the hair as I'm pulling it through the hair. Also, I want a flexible base so that as I run across a tangle and I start to stretch this hair, it has a little bit of give and it puts less stress on the hair and doesn't rip it out. And also, since it's flexible, it makes it a little bit easier on the head as I'm brushing it through. So let's get started blowing dry. So the first thing I wanna do when I'm going through and I'm gonna start wrap drying is I wanna get the bangs dry first. If they don't have bangs, you can skip this part, but we're gonna dry the bangs first. So I'm gonna start going back and forth across as I'm blowing dry, making sure that the air is being directed at the scalp. So I'll go back and forth across the head, brush everything one way, Have everything come back the other way. Just going back and forth with the air flowing down. That way by going back and forth, it helps me control any kind of cowlick that I may have around the bang area. After I got the problem bangs controlled, then I'm gonna go through and start sectioning for my wrap drying. I'll start right in the middle. Everything goes over. I will pivot. From the crown, take my next section, follow the brush with the blow dryer. I can pick it up to create some body as I start to stretch everything over. I don't have to be super anally clean with it. I just want to make sure I get this kind of motion where hair is being wrapped around the head. And just follow. Make sure I keep the blow dryer moving so I don't burn their scalp. And I'm not trying to dry each section completely 100% dry before I go to the next section. I'll dry it, you know, 50%. And then I'll go to the next section, dry it 50% and then on to the next section. And I'll keep going. As I pivot, I'll keep going until I get to the center of the back of the head. Now, as I get down here to the lower parts, I'm actually wrapping it all the way around the head. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content. Now, after I got that dry a, a little bit, I'm not gonna try to dry the whole thing in one spot. I'll go to the opposite side, start in the center, and now I'm gonna do exactly the opposite of what I did on the other side. Start in the middle, brush everything over from the left side to the right side. I can pick that up if I want a little bit more body. If the hair has more wave, then I will certainly stretch it more as I'm going over. Pivot again, wrap everything over to the other side, following from the root of my parting as I wrap the hair to the other side. And I'll just continue this until, as on the other side, I get to the center of the back. Now, after I've got each side about halfway dry, I've taken one side to the center, one side to the center. Now I'm gonna continue, after I've got the second side, I'm gonna continue to pivot this 
all the way around to this first original side. So the first half was just to get the majority of it dry. The second half is to continue that drying and I wanna make sure that's as neutral as possible. And I'm just taking my time and I'm being mindful of how I lay the brush on the head. I want the brush to just kind of skim across the head. I don't want to hit them in the head and then go. I want everything to be as seamless as possible and it just skim across the head. Now once I've got everything wrapped around, I'm going to go back and do the exact opposite. I'm going to wrap everything the opposite way. So, so we'll start back in the middle. And now I'm going to go exactly the opposite. Last time I was going left side to right side. Now I'm going right side to left side. And I'll just keep doing this back and forth and back and forth until I get everything completely dry. Already see we got a nice smooth shape to it, but it's not flat. Now to go through and do like they would do in the old school roller set days is I want to make sure I got some volume here on the crown. So I will go through, take me a flat section across the crown, I'll lay the brush right on the section. I'll pull up on the brush and rotate the brush over to create tension and pull. It's this tension and pull that as I heat the hair up, pulls the natural shape out of it. And as it cools, it will re-harden in whatever new shape that I'm pulling it into. So I grab, I stretch, I pull forward and through and up. So down, up, 90 degrees from the head as I roll the ends. And that will give me a lot more volume right at the scalp. I mean, you can already see this side has so much more volume than that side. You could certainly do this all over if you had somebody that you wanted to have a lot more volume throughout the entirety of their hair. Next section, stretch that up and through. Follow us on your favorite social media at Jatai Feather. The last section right here, brush that back, grab, stretch, straight up. So it's creating tension. I put the brush in, flip, stretch. If it's too much, I unroll the brush a little bit to where I have just enough to pull. Then on the very end, I do a little bend. Now I can use this same sort of methodology around the front if I have issues with the hair not wanting to flow properly, like it's not cupping under like I want. I can just pull some of this hair back, brush in, stretch over, pull through, and then when I get to the very end, after I've got the hair hot and stretched and I pull the natural shape out of it, I'll let that cool in whatever shape I want that to form into. Now you notice here, I'm not pulling it straight up from the head. I'm pulling it down flat against the head because I'm not trying to get body on the sides. I only want body on the top. I'm just trying to get some control of that curl. Looks pretty good. Hit it with a little bit of cold air just to help everything set in and give it a little bit more of a natural finish. Here's our end result. I think it looks pretty good. We got everything nice and smooth. And this is just with the brush, just wrapping it and just a little bit of hooking. There's no ironing with this. There's no bore bristles or anything, just the high-tech Dubois. This gives you enough tension to make everything as smooth as you need it. 
So wrap drying will help make everything neutral and make my shape neutral because I'm taking the growth patterns out of it. I'm pulling out any kind of natural cowlicks that they have or any kind of wave and I'm making everything a nice uniform speed of curl that's based upon her head shape. If I need to control something to get more volume, I just put the brush in, just hook, stretch, let it cool in whatever shape I'm letting it harden in. If I need a little bit more refinement around the front, I can just stretch that as well. So add this to your repertoire and I think it'll make you a much better hairstylist, especially when you're blowing dry shorter shapes, uh, pixies, uh, bobs, graduated bobs especially. So it'll really help add a lot to your arsenal. Please check out the Jatai Academy. There's a lot of great information on there that'll make you a better hairstylist and barber. Give us a comment, let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you for checking it out. We'll see you next time.